What's up, Greg, and welcome back to another episode of 2021. More like 2020 fun. Guys, why does everyone on TikTok believe everything that anyone says? I keep seeing this dude on TikTok named Nick Suarez who's pretending to be a vampire on TikTok using special effects. He just keeps posting videos where his, like, his canines become <laughs> vampire fangs. And like, everyone believes him. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw this TikTok, I was like, okay, that's a cool effect. And I went to the comments thinking that everybody else would be saying a similar thing, just like, ooh, nice job, cool effect. Or just like thirsting over him because he's a boy and he's not wearing a shirt. Or he is, he's just wearing it wrong. But no, the comments on this were pretty surprising. This could actually be real and I would have no idea. He could actually be a vampire and we wouldn't even know. Uh, no, he couldn't. He could not. Because vampires aren't real. They're made up. They're a thing that people made up. Also, imagine if vampires really were real and this is how we found out from like a sort of like a thirst trappy TikTok of a guy just casually being like, oh, I heard we're showing off our teeth. Here's mine. They just had to put this picture in like every history book from now on. Like, so this is when we found out that vampires existed. They've been around for like thousands of years and we didn't find out until this guy made a TikTok video uh, with, without his shirt on because he wanted to show off his teeth. And still to this day, it's the only evidence we have of vampires, but like, I mean, you can't dispute this. And he keeps making videos where he does this thing with his teeth and more and more people believe him every time. It's so bizarre. Not me actually believing him. Why am I believing him? You're gonna make me believe you. Look, I don't believe this yet, all right? I'm not that stupid. Two videos of you showing your fangs? I'm not an idiot. But I swear to God, if you do this one more time, I will believe you. I'm serious, all right? Post one more edited TikTok of you showing your fangs, and I will spend the rest of my life believing vampires are real. And it's not because you're cute either. I don't want to kiss. I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to track you down and impale you with a wooden spear. You demon. You evil being. Hey guys, so a lot of y'all have questions about my last video, and I'm here to clear some of those things up. So, fangs. Not retractable. They come out? when I want. My eyes? Yeah, they do glow. And I could compel you, but I won't. And finally, speed. I like that he's not just a vampire, but he's like a cocky vampire. And my eyes? Yeah, they glow. And my speed? Um, yeah, it's really fast. Watching everyone I love die time and time again because I'm an immortal, ageless being. Drifting through time, becoming further convinced that nothing matters and life doesn't mean anything because I sold my soul to the devil 200 years ago? Uh, it's your boy. A lot of y'all are still confused about these and about my speed. So I figured I'd put up a timer, do a couple laps, show you guys how fast I really am. So here we are. He has a couple videos where he runs fast, and I don't know why it's so funny to me. I think it's because if you see like someone actually running real fast, like Usain Bolt or something, he takes such long strides. But in these videos, he's just sort of jogging or or almost power walking. So he's taking pretty small steps, but he's just going really fast. And my speed, yeah, I guess you could say it's borderline Olympic. <laughs> I like to think about what this one would look like without the effect. The ruse didn't last forever though. Eventually it seemed like Nick got a little bit too big for his britches and started tackling some a little bit trickier effects. He posted this one where he tries to bite into an apple to prove that his fangs are real so you can see the fang marks in the apple. One where he goes outside and his skin starts burning. He jumps over his house. Don't skip leg day. And this one where he exhibits his superhuman strength by picking up a picture of a car. Let me know if you have any questions. Now I know that a lot of people who are probably commenting on these TikToks saying that they think they're real are either joking or literally one year old. But it's just crazy to me that like anybody would even consider for a second that this might be real. Cause he, cause vampires aren't real. And also this dude's a video editor. Like if you click on his profile and look at it for two seconds, all of, all of his other non-vampire related TikToks are like him doing effects. Like he's in the mirror doing one thing and then on the other side he's doing another thing. Or he's parodying the sweet life of Zack and Cody where he's cloning himself. And honestly, I don't even think that this dude, Nick, is really trying to fool anyone. I, th I just think he's a video editor that's like trying to have some fun. He probably didn't even think people would believe his first post. I don't really think his intention was ever to like deceive people into thinking that vampires are real. Uh, that however cannot be said about what I actually want to talk about today, which is this rumor about Kanye West and Jeffree Star. And more importantly, 
certainly the girl who started it. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this rumor by now because the memes have been everywhere. And honestly, there's been some pretty good memes about the situation. I think in general, it's pretty funny to imagine that Kanye West is dating Jeffree Star. But if you haven't seen the original TikTok that started this whole thing, here it is. Now that Kim's finally doing this, I feel like I can spill the tea that I've been holding on to for months. This whole divorce comes as no surprise. Kanye's been hooking up with a very famous beauty guru. Male! beauty guru. A lot of people in the scene have known for a while. So technically in this TikTok, she didn't say it was Jeffree Star, but immediately when people in her comments started guessing Jeffree Star, she started liking only those comments. And after that, oh boy, it spread like wildfire, dude. Everybody was talking about this. Like every TikTok on my For You page was about this. This TikTok currently has 955,000 likes. Kanye West was trending on Twitter. There were drama channels on YouTube talking about it. Even legit news publications were posting about it. And surprisingly, none of them really seemed to stop for a second to like ask wait who is this girl and why would she know that the only thing her caption of her tiktok says about why she knows this is my source is legit i promise but news publications were still like posting about this story as if it could have some credibility even though if you scroll through her tiktoks like all of them are about just like chasing clout trying to get clout any way she can it's high key so annoying when people are like she just posted this for clout. Duh. Isn't that what TikTok's literally for? She's actually made up rumors about uh, Kim Kardashian's friend before, but nobody really seemed to care. They were all just kind of like, whoa, you've got a source? Oh, hell yeah, nice job. She milked a good amount of clout out of this situation for a while, posting more videos about how Kim Kardashian's suing her now, even saying that like Kris Jenner is threatening her, until one of her friends apparently posted a voice memo to TikTok that she sent him, saying that the whole thing was made up and there was no truth to any of it. Not even getting sued. I will made this entire scandal up. There is literally not one bit of truth to anything I have said. I just tricked the entire world into talking about me again because I was on a lot of Adderall and board. And then she confirmed that that was in fact true on her own tiktok and that's on being an icon we all had fun though didn't we you're welcome for the memes the caption of this is i was gonna wait to expose myself but clout chasing locals i thought were my friends want to do it first lame wait clout chasing locals isn't that what you are? <laughs> She's like, okay, I may be a clout chaser. I may have made up an entire story about the Kardashians just for clout, but a local? Whoa, 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 dude. I am not local. I am not local to anywhere. I don't live, I don't live where I live. Anyway, the point I want to make here isn't that like, People shouldn't have been posting about this. It isn't even that like, wow, how could anyone believe this? Because honestly, at first I was kind of like, maybe this is true. I don't know. It's kind of funny. It's got the right amount of juiciness and irony. Kanye West is pretty famously a womanizer. He's also worked with homophobic pastors in the past. Jeffree Star has said racist things in the past. So the fact that they could be dating is pretty juicy. It keeps it juicy, juicy. It eats that lunch. The point I really want to make is one, it's it's really interesting how like quick people are to just assume things are true, myself included. And two, this girl sucks. But who is this girl, you're probably wondering? Where did she come from? Well, it turns out she's actually been around for a while and I've seen her quite a bit without realizing it was her and maybe you have as well. This girl, who I'm not gonna name because it seems like she gets way too much enjoyment out of people talking about her and making her more famous. So I'm just going to call her Craig. Craig is a social media star. She's a TikToker, an Instagrammer who first got popular because she was on Dr. F she was on there apparently because her friends were concerned that she was obsessed with becoming famous on Instagram, which the Dr. Phil show remedied by making her famous on Instagram. Well, 20 year old Craig has some hard partying ways and a devil may care attitude, but her friends Haley and Maria are worried that between those things and Ava's disdain for college, she's going to be left with no future if her dream of insta-fame doesn't work out. Did they prep Dr. Phil on any of these lines before this episode started? It feels like he's either like reading a teleprompter that's really far away or he's like making it up on the spot. And it doesn't seem to be working out. But right? it is working out. Well, you, how many followers do Almost you have? Almost 40,000. After two years? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. 20,000 every year. So she'll hit a million when she's 70 years old. Well, I, I have a YouTube channel and, and last year I had 2 billion views and it didn't change my life. <laughs> oh, that's my butt. <laughs> How does it change your life? Um, I don't know, because then people get to see my face and it makes their day better. So it makes me feel better, like I'm doing something good for the community, you know? I feel very philanthropic, is that the word? Charitable? When you're popping on social media, like you get all kinds of stuff. Like I get free laxative teas. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's gotta be the weirdest flex I've ever heard. Free laxative teas? Is that the goal of, of becoming Instagram famous? Just to have people send you free like diet supplements? I think those are pretty unhealthy, aren't they? I'm insta-famous, baby. You know what that means? Uh, you make a lot of money. Ha! I wish. I shit. 18 times a day. Oh my god, that sounds really unhealthy. Uh-huh. What? Uh-uh-huh. Are you- are you saying uh-huh or uh-uh? Uh-huh. Are you okay? I'm pooping! Oh, I'm pooping! Since that Dr. Phil episode, Craig has become pretty popular on social media. She's got 280,000 followers on Instagram, 600,000 followers on TikTok, and she's found herself in the spotlight a couple more times due to some pretty ridiculous situations. Way back last year when the pandemic started, you might remember seeing a video of a girl licking a toilet seat on an airplane trying to start something called the coronavirus challenge. Uh, yeah. That was her. She did that. Everyone in my comments won't stop commenting. You licked the toilet seat, shut up. Yeah, I did, and I got 20 million views on it. Like I said, this girl sucks. She recently made news headlines after she posted herself doing something very unhygienic while on a plane to Miami for spring break during the coronavirus outbreak. Oh yeah, she was also on her way to a spring break. Like she wasn't just happened to be flying somewhere. She was going to party in like Florida or some shit during the pandemic. So if she did get COVID from the airplane seat, at least she would be spreading it to a ton of other people. The hell were you thinking when you're licking a toilet seat on an airplane on the way to spring break when the country okay. shut down? One, I had way <laughs> dirtier things in my mouth that whole spring break two i bleached that three private plane yeah don't worry i bleached it right before so i wasn't licking covid i was licking bleach it was a social experiment more than anything else like obviously i wanted the cloud off of it and i was like really annoyed that corona was getting more publicity than me because i currently have like a song going viral right now and no one was covering it anyways like she said apparently this whole thing wasn't just to start a viral trend it was to promote her song which was going viral at the time which is called skinny legend anthem and i'm sure you're dying to hear it so let's listen to it all these haters need to drink some laxative tea and shit all their jealousy out before we drop this beat does this girl own like steak in a laxative tea company? Why is she so into laxative tea? Seems like she's really like shilling hard for some laxative tea companies. I don't know what they're paying her. Overall, I would say that Craig is probably the worst role model imaginable for anybody. Most of her posts are either glorifying hard drug usage. She talks about blacking out every night, going to clubs during the pandemic. So I was just in Miami for New Year's. We're going to the club every night. Drinking her shit tea, glorifying super unhealthy diets or even eating just- <laughs> Chanel shoes, they cost more than your rent. I was ugly, now I'm hot, so bitch, I can be your friend. All the guys my phone are ugly and fat, so don't call me. I don't think that's a flex. All the guys in my phone are ugly? What, how is it, what kind of flex is that? Uh, yeah, not to brag or anything, but I pretty much talk to the ugliest guys on the planet. Jealous. Haters. <laughs> Now, since it came out that she faked this whole story about Kanye and Jeffree Star, has this girl taken any responsibility for her actions? Has she apologized? Has she said she won't do it again? No. Everyone's just so fucking mad that I caused the biggest internet scandal of 2021 so far. You're welcome. For all the fucking memes that I know you all fucking touched yourselves to. Jeez, calm down, lighten up. Honestly, I don't really care that much about the Kardashians either way or Kanye at this point. Like, it's kind of hard to feel bad for them when they're like the richest people in the world. But, but it still just feels like a really shitty thing to do to just like make up rumors about people. And I don't know, when I see stuff like this, it just makes me feel gross that some people value clout so much that they put it over being like a decent human or even like that being a decent human isn't even like a a thought in some people's head it's just like how can i get get what i want people are wondering how i deal with these hate comments i'm gonna admit something right now i can't remember the last time i left a hate comment on someone's post it was probably in high school and you know why i did it I was really jealous and really insecure with myself i can't remember the last time i left a hate comment i honestly do not remember it at all but I do remember exactly why I did it and my exact mental state while doing it. The girls I would hate on were either prettier than me, going viral, richer than me, had things I wanted. They were just doing better than me in like certain ways. Wait, so the only reason we could possibly have for being upset with you is because 
we're jealous that you're so pretty and viral. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but that's actually not the reason I'm upset, surprisingly. It's because I'm jealous that she knows so many ugly guys. <laughs> Also after posting this, she commented on her own TikTok saying, I needed a reason to justify why they're not all that so I could feel better. Like saying Kylie Jenner is only hot cause she facetunes. What? But that's a hate comment. That's a negative thought right there. She gave an example by doing the thing that she said she never does. I never talk shit about anyone, dude. I don't have a negative thing to say about anybody. I would never say for example that like, Timothy Chalamet is a little bitch, a skinny little bitch boy, and I'd beat him up if I saw him. I would never say something like that, and anyone who does is honestly pathetic. Anyways, unfortunately for Craig, I think this is going to be sort of a pattern. It's kind of weird because like that one video got like a million likes, and she gained a, a, like hundreds of thousands of followers on TikTok for it, but then after that it seemed like her likes on her videos went back down to around like 5,000 likes per video, because I don't think anyone really like learned who she was from this. I think most people, if you ask them, hey, who is the girl that started this rumor? Most people wouldn't even know even if they've seen the TikTok. So I think it's gonna be pretty easy for her, honestly, to pull another stunt like this and people will again have forgotten who she is and fall for it again and give her another 15 minutes of clout, basically, which is exactly what she wants. So just be warned, you know? You never know where Craig is gonna show up. She could be behind something else right now. There's lots of stuff going on in the world. If you see this face, be careful because Craig, Craig's up to no good. All right, well, that's pretty much the end of the video. Now it's time to talk about our sponsor, ExpressVPN. This video has been sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is my go-to tool for protecting my online privacy and anonymity. Imagine for me, if you will, that every time you went online, there was just some guy out there that saw every website you went to and he just writes it down and keeps it on a little piece of paper that he keeps in his pocket and he just knows everywhere you've ever been and he holds on to it forever. Well, for most of you, that actually is what happens happens pretty much every time you go on the internet. Because your internet service provider, whether it be Comcast or AT&T, is allowed to store logs of every single site you visit. And they're also legally allowed to sell this data to anyone. And that is one of the main reasons I always use ExpressVPN. Another great use for ExpressVPN, aside from protecting your data, is unblocking content that's not available in your area. For example, if you live in the US and you've ever wanted to watch The Dark Knight on Netflix, you can't because it's not available on US Netflix, but it is available on Canadian Netflix. So if you just open up ExpressVPN, change your server location to Canada, and then search The Dark Knight in Netflix, suddenly you can watch it. It's honestly pretty amazing, it works like magic. ExpressVPN has the fastest speed, which I've tested myself since I'm always like uploading videos, downloading music and sound effects for my videos. They've got 24 seven customer support, it's super easy to use, you just click the big button that says connect and you're online. And it's not just me that's an ExpressVPN fanboy. ExpressVPN has been recommended by countless other YouTubers, and they've been consistently rated the number one VPN by sources like TechRadar, CNET, The Verge, and many more. So find out how you can get three months for free by clicking the link in the description that's expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Danny Gonzalez. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out ExpressVPN. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you liked it, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is what I call my fan base on YouTube. We're sort of an army, sort of a family, sort of a boss ass posse of ugly guys. All right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This this video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. Again. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Woo. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. So why are you still watching this?